Hello everyone and welcome to the DPV Podcast. I'm your host, Brian Mondes. This is episode number 283 for May 9th, 2023. Welcome to the Disney Pins Blog Podcast, the latest news on Disney pin trading and collecting from around the world. Welcome back to the show, everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. Just want to say thank you to everyone who supported our Disney Pins Blog 10th anniversary exclusive pin release last week. We had the Mickey and Friends Celebrate pin, and then with that purchase, you received the free Disney Pins Blog 10th Anniversary logo pin, which is limited edition of 200. We have a very limited amount left, so if you guys still had your eye on that Celebrate pin with the free logo pin, hit up dpbstore.com. I am expecting it to sell out soon. Then we also have another sale going on, the uh, Pixar Stained Glass pin series from last year. The remaining pins are now on sale. They vary between $12 and $14. All right, and now for the pin news. First, we're gonna start off with ourselves at DPP Store. We did have a few new Lounge Fly pin releases last week. First up is the Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark pin. This is in the Funko Pop style. Limited edition of $1,200, retail price $20. Then there was the Alice in Wonderland Falling Down the Rabbit Hole pin which has Alice on a little slider element that moves up and down the pin. That's limited edition of $1,900. Retail price $20 as well. And then the third three inch pin in the collectible box features the Black Cauldron. This one is limited edition of $1,200. Retail price $20. And that one has glow in the dark and a sliding element on it. And then lastly at DPB Store, this Thursday, we will have the Monsters, Inc. Scare Floor Door pin release. This did release first over the weekend at the Disneyana Fan Club Expo event. Thank you guys to everyone who purchased that pin at the Kangaroo Pins Table. We did have a bunch of DPB exclusives out in California. And uh, yeah, this Monsters, Inc. pin released there first. So guests of that event had the opportunity to purchase it first. And now the remaining quantity will be available at dpbstore.com. It's limited edition of 300, has a pin on pin design with glitter embellishments, and the retail price is $18. All right, next up is Shop Disney. They had the May the 4th Be With You 2023 pin releases last week. There was a logo pin that was limited release. This is also available in the parks. And then a Boba Fett and Darth Vader Return of the Jedi 40th Anniversary pins. Boba Fett is limited release and Darth Vader is limited edition of 5,000. And then there was also a Jumbo pin release. This one is only available in the parks, the Jumbo. The other three were also available online at Shop Disney, but the Jumbo is limited edition of 4,000, retail price $54.99. Then also at Shop Disney was the Donald's Nephew's 85th Anniversary pin. This released on Tuesday, May 9th. It's limited edition of 2000 and has a retail price of $19.99. Next up is Box Lunch. They had two new pin releases for the Little Mermaid live action film coming up. They have a retail price of $9.90 each and those were created by Loungefly. Next is Disney Movie Rewards. They had a new pin for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. This did have a very high uh, point redemption. I think it was over 3,000 points. So yeah, quite high there. It is a limited release pin, but does not have the official pin trading logo on the back. It's more of a collectible pin. Next up, I want to mention the Disney 100, the exhibition pins that released. So far, these are just in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and Munich, Germany. One features the Disney 100 logo pin at the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia, and then the uh, second one is the six-pin set featuring silhouettes of Tinkerbell, Simba, Miguel, Maleficent, and Mickey Mouse. Those are exclusive to the exhibit. Next up is Disney Cruise Line. They are celebrating their 25th anniversary, and they had a special pin release. This one features the 25th logo with an etched metal design, all in shiny silver, and it has a dangle element on it featuring the Disney Cruise Line logo. It's limited release with a retail price of $17.99. That was available starting on May 3rd. All right, then finally we have Disney Parks. First up is a new Star Wars Endor mystery pin set. This one has the same style as the Star Wars Hoth pin set that recently released. 
But uh, yeah, this is limited release, retail price $24.99 per box of two pins. Next at Disney Parks were two new Little Mermaid live action pin releases. One is limited edition of 3000 with a retail price of $19.99. And then the uh, second one actually already released online at Shop Disney, but now it's available in the parks. It features Ursula in its limited release. Both of these are now available at Disneyland and will be coming soon to Walt Disney World in Florida. Then we have the new limited edition pin releases this week on Tuesday, May 9th at Disney Parks. First, we'll start off with Walt Disney World. They caught up with Disneyland on the Marvel First Appearance Villains pin. Uh, this previously released on April 18th at Disneyland, now available on May 9th at Walt Disney World. And then there was one exclusive in Florida that features Vanellope from the Turnover Time collection. This is the fifth release in the bi-monthly collection that alternates between both coasts. Limited edition of $2,500, retail price $21.99. Next up is Disneyland. They received the second pin in the Disney Afternoon Quarterly Collection. It has a pin-on-pin -pin design with glitter embellishments. Limited edition of $1,500, retail price $29.99. And then for the shared pin releases on both coasts, First was the National Pizza Party Day. Uh, this previously released last week at Shop Disney. Now it's available at Disneyland and Walt Disney World. Features Lilo and Stitch. Next is the fifth release in the Dancing Characters monthly collection at Disney Parks. It features Coda from Brother Bear. Limited edition of 4,000, retail price $19.99. Then there was the fifth release in the Disney Arcade collection. This one features Dumbo. Right now, it's only available at Walt Disney World, but will be coming soon to Disneyland. LA 4000, retail price $19.99. And then finally was the Celebrate Laughter 2023 pin, which features Tiana and Charlotte from Princess and the Frog. It's limited release with a retail price of $17.99, and this one's only available in Disneyland so far, but will be coming to Florida soon. And then lastly, before we go, is the biggest pin news of the week, and that is we finally have a date for the annual pin event at Walt Disney World. The Disney Magic Happens 2023 event will take place on August 25th and 26th at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort. I think this is the first year that it's uh, moving from Epcot to a resort. Coronado Springs is a big resort though, and that is the home of the quarterly pin trading nights whenever they used to have those a couple of years ago. So there's a lot of space there. I am gonna miss it at Epcot. It was always nice to go out and get a bite to eat or a drink, uh, hang out with friends at Epcot, and then go back into the event. But it'll still be fun at Coronado Springs. And, uh, and then the other news is now it's been reduced down to one day. In the past, it was always three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then they reduced it down to two days, Saturday and Sunday. And now it is just one day on Saturday, the 26th. I guess you could also count check-in day, which is the 25th. That's whenever you pick up your merchandise and uh, there is some trading that day as well. But the main event is just going to be Saturday at Coronado Springs in the ballroom. So that's all we have so far, just the date, end of August there. The uh, pin catalog should be coming out soon, as well as the actual registration details with the pricing and uh, whenever tickets go on sale. So stay tuned for that. We'll be sure to post it on DisneyPinsBlog.com as soon as we know. All right, that's going to do it for your May 2023 Week 2 Disney Pin News. Thank you guys very much for listening and watching. Hope you have a great rest of your week. See ya.